<laughs> I feel like on those TV shows they always go mm. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Chef Malia from Wasamak Ecosystems and today I'm here with Zoe and we're going to show her how to make oyster mushroom acra which is a play on our local saltfish acra but I'm going to veganize it and make it here for Zoe Yeah Well, she's going to help me make it <laughs> Okay, so we're just going right here these are actually um, our friends at Cook Farm, which you all know well. Um, they grow mushrooms. So these are actually old mushroom bags that they gave us from when the mushrooms were already picked. And we just put them out into our garden and composted them and we actually have mushrooms growing. So these are oyster mushrooms. Okay, so I'll, I'll let you pick. Okay. So it's just the chives. How many? You could pick a good bit. Okay. Take off the stem part, like that. And that's going to get composted. And then we're just going to shred the mushrooms into like little, kind of small little okay. shreds. Okay. So this is like the saltfish. Yeah, mimic <laughs> the saltfish look and texture. Yeah, I often see like oyster mushrooms being used as, you know, like replacements for stuff. Yeah, it's just the, the texture. I've never really so done it myself to, to be honest. Well, I wouldn't say it's similar to meat, but they say it's similar to meat. Yeah, I guess because like I never ate meat, it's like I don't really need, I don't really try, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I don't have a need, like, but. Yeah, I try not to make things that are like. A meat replacement. Yeah. Like, what, you know, why are you trying to make... But I guess, like, for some people, if they're really trying hard to give up meat for, like... Yeah. Then it can be helpful for them, you know? But I also, in my vegan and vegetarian cooking, try to not use processed foods. Yeah, 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 same. So I would try to use mushrooms versus tofu. Yeah. You know, those kind of things. Okay, so these are, like, two clusters of mushrooms. How long do these mushrooms take to grow? They grow really, once the bag is inoculated, they grow within like hours. Hours? Yeah, mushrooms grow really quick. Or like overnight. From nothing to this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> they like grow in front of your eyes, it's crazy. So the oyster mushrooms I find aren't like the regular button mushrooms they have way more of a flavor it does taste mushroom -y, <laughs> but i wouldn't say it's off-putting in any way um i find it's actually pretty neutral like um there's different ways i cook the oyster mushrooms sometimes i would fry it and like toss it in like some buffalo sauce or something or just saute it add it to things we've added it to pilau before fajitas with this and it tastes pretty good with salt fish, because it's salted and everything, you wouldn't add any flavor to it, but we're gonna flavor up the mushroom. So we have a green seasoning that I made from um, ingredients from the farm. So it's a mix of sive, shadow benny, thyme, and I have some lemon balm. So I threw that in it. Mm -hmm. Cool. So we're just gonna take like, mm. Two spoonfuls of green seasoning, some of the sauce. I'm gonna add in a little bit of wasamaki turmeric powder. Mm -hmm. So this is as in you made it. Yeah, we make turmeric powder on the farm. Do you sell it? You yeah, just we do it? sell it. So just a little bit because turmeric has a strong flavor. Just gonna add a little bit of paprika and some sea salt. Right. Cool. And if you want to just use a spoon mm -hmm. and you can give it a mix. Sives that we just freshly picked. So if you want to, you want to chop it. Mm -hmm. Like small? Yeah. So just finely chop that. I 
I feel like I'm on one of those TV shows <laughs> where they like travel to different countries and cook stuff. <laughs> So have you ever heard of Accra before? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Obviously they have like similar things to it in yeah. like a lot of countries. Yeah. Uh, sometimes, well in some countries the versions that they make like contain eggs, so I can't right. eat them. Whereas sometimes they don't contain eggs, so. And I'll just chop this up. Right, cool. So I'm gonna push this off to the side. And then we're going to bring our bowl. So now you're going to add the dry ingredients to the bowl, which is flour. Um, I'm going to add two teaspoons of baking powder. One, two. Mm -hmm. We're going to add some salt. You can add these in. Would you ever put like pimentos in this? Yeah, you could put pimentos. Do you guys um, grow pimentos? Yeah, we do. I would usually put in an onion too, but as I put in so much of the sive, because mm. it's a garlic sive too, it's pretty strong, so mm. I'll leave the onion out. Okay. All right, and now we could add our mushrooms in. One cup of water. So we're looking for a batter texture, not too wet. It's quite wet, isn't it? And not too dry, yeah, that's okay though. Once you continue to mix, I'm just gonna add one little more touch of water. Okay, good, and that should be enough. So that is the kind of consistency we're looking for. It's a little thicker than like a pancake batter, but not a dough. It's way like wetter than what I thought it would thought have to be. be, yeah. Yeah, so it's, what we're doing is we're gonna just spoon it into the hot oil. So it kind has to like be that. Plory, but yeah. No. Well, yeah. With plori, you would use your hand. This mm. you could use your hand too. But next, we're gonna cook our oyster mushroom acra on the rocket stove. So this is our rocket stove here. Um, the same kind of rocket stove that we usually build with clay bricks and um, thick paste plaster mortar. Um, I'm frying today in coconut oil. You can use any oil you prefer, but I just like coconut oil. Um, it's a wood-fired rocket stove, so on this side here, we're loading up the wood and it's creating a flame that's heating up the pot. So you want to scoop the balls in? Yeah, I've never okay, used so one of these before. So do I fill it up? scoop in, yeah. Like this? Yeah, like that. And then go over. Okay. Near. Yeah. Is it going to like spit on me? Um, shouldn't. Let okay. me try. We're just going close and we're just pressing it and it goes, okay. it goes in. Right. This is the same thing they make like, you know those fancy like melon balls at like hotels when they yeah. carve out fruits? Well that's a little different. This is called like a, a cookie scoop. Oh. So that you could use to like measure out the cookie amount to make oh, okay. like the same size. And how are we doing like loads? Are we filling up this pot? I'm um, carrying on, or? Yeah, you can continue to mix. Okay. Okay, so as soon as we drop it in, because the pot is so hot, it instantly comes off of the bottom, and then I flip it around. Not so gracefully, but I do it. And yeah, we're just looking for that golden brown color. I've never fried on the rocket stove before. Now that we have this golden brown color. Okay, yeah. now we're going on to the paper towel. It's very quick. Yeah, the stove is very hot. 
so. Okay, shall we try? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay. Oh, actually, they're still quite hot. Yeah, that's too hot. I'm gonna choose a cold one. No, oh, they're all hot. This on. one. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Yum. I feel like on those TV shows they always go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do that. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, it's really nice. It's like you can taste the chives a lot, mm -hmm. and it's like way softer than what I was thinking on the inside. Yeah, I think it came out pretty. pretty mm -hmm. good. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. I love mushrooms. It's like a meaty acro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think it fried really well on the rocket stove. Oh yeah. Yeah. Because it's, it's definitely not too crispy at all. No. Yeah. Light like, on the inside. Perfect. Mm. I mean, I'll eat a lot of these right now. I'm not gonna lie. Go right ahead, please. So like, I know they're really nice, but if you had to change one thing for next time, like how? Let's brainstorm. Like, how could we make it better for next time? Um. Hmm. So I think. Uh, yeah. What do you think? I would add like a scotch bonnet, like oh, yeah. a little bit yeah, yeah. inside to just give it a bit more excitement. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And we also usually dip acra in a sauce. Mm. So sometimes you can make like a homemade chutney, mm -hmm. something like that. Um, and that I think would make it like yeah. through the roof. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, I'll, maybe just like pimento, maybe a little pepper. Yeah. But I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just to elevate. Yeah. Right, nice. Okay, so thanks for coming to Wasamaki and cooking with me. I hope you enjoyed your experience here and you're welcome back anytime. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah.